we get into the video people, I am giving away Destiny 2 Campile Elite Collection codes to win one, make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that notification bell ticks, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Good luck everybody. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a guide on the Ascendant Challenge for this week, week 2, the bounty from Pet's Revenge which rewards you powerful gear. So you first need to have a tincture of queen foil or a tin foil hat as I call them. Once obtained you have to then get the bounty from Petra. You then need to head to the garden of Esli, I believe that's pronounced. This is located right here on the Dreaming Cities map. Not hard to get to at all. Once you are here you want to apply that tin foil hat from your inventory and then you have ascendants. Then travel further into the garden and you will come to this area right here. Behind these rocks at the back is a Taken portal which you must enter. This will take you into a Taken realm where you do this Taken bounty. So within here there are charges you have to pick up. Once picked up you have to slam them under this gigantic Taken Blight centre of this room. The charges do eventually run out so you can't take too much time slamming them. Slam these charges you have to be super careful doing also because the amount of enemies that spawn here as you get closer is kind of crazy. What you want to do is you want to kind of lead them to one side then you can quickly run and slam the charge. Once done go and grab the other charge, do the same, rinse and repeat for the third, then slam away. Then you have to take out all the knights. This is kind of simple, all you need to do is find any high platform, jump up on it 
and the knights will stand on the spot and they won't move at all. For this you can either try using the weapons you have equipped like I did and failing with my spindle or you can get constant stupors by travelling to their charged light under the taken blight but this is kind of risky as these dudes chase you around as soon as your feet touch the floor but it's quite easy to grab the light jump up and super and so forth just be careful if you plan on trying to use your supers also to note if you die guys the whole process has to be started again from outside of the portal so yeah I will say you can't take your time either killing these knights because after a certain while the activity resets and you'll then have to go collect the charges and slam them again so yeah get this done as soon as you can. The team for your hats only lasts about 30 minutes or so so get this done people and you basically get yourself a powerful income. I literally did it first time so it shouldn't be too hard for you. I'd say guardians over that 520 power level shouldn't have a problem at all just be careful when chasing those charges stare at the blights and keep moving it really is straightforward but yeah guys this rewards you a powerful engram helping that progression one decryption at a time but yeah guys it is as simple as that if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one Thank <laughs> you.